Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, and it is uh, Sunday before New Year's Day on 2020, so it's the last Sunday of December before 2020, and I'm out on my sailboat. I uh, just come out for a morning sail, I'm by myself, and uh, just enjoying the day. Just a nice, it's just a very light breeze this morning, barely enough wind to even sail. The wind's kind of keeping my sails full most of the time. But I was thinking about the last 10 years of my life. I was thinking about, uh, it's been 10 years since I came to California. And when I came to California, when I moved here from Texas, my dream was to get a sailboat. I was kind of the reason I, it was kind of like that was, the. this was the dream. This was what I wanted. It was what I thought about. It was, you know, I wanted this lifestyle. And when I came to California in 2009, the economy was in the toilet. And I was in 100% total survival mode. And that's how I, and that's how I'd been living since 2007 when the economy collapsed. I came out here, I was just surviving. I was managing real estate company and you know on the outside I looked good it looked like I was doing well I'm doing all that but I was surviving I was just surviving and I was I wasn't I looked at my life and I'm like I'm never gonna get a boat at this rate I mean it, some if I if I'm gonna ever get my dreams something's got to change and I always thought about 2020 kind of 2020 is kind of that you know kind of it's a new decade but it's also that whole idea of 2020 just the, the vision aspect of it and all of that and I'm like I had a vision for my life. I know what I want, and but I'm not going for it. I'm playing it safe. And three things happened for me that changed everything. And I look back, seven years ago, I was renting a bedroom and sleeping on an air mattress. I was at the end of my rope. I had nothing. I was just barely surviving. And now I look, and it's um, seven years later, and everything's changed in my life. We've got a wonderful home. I got my dream car, I got my dream boat, um, and I'm loving my life. And I only say that because I want you to think about where you are in your life right now. And if things are going great in your life, awesome. What are you gonna do in 2020 to accelerate that, and elevate your life and move forward? And if your life is not going the way you want, then you may be where I was eight years ago when I was in survival mode. And it was, it was actually October of 2011. October 2011 was when things changed for me. And I, there were three things that I, that I changed that happened. This was in October, November, and December. And the, these three things completely transformed my life. And I just wanna share with them today because I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking about what, it, what are the things that took me from where I was when I was at the bottom and hating my life to not having everything the way I want it, but I'm where our life is good and we're, we're have abundance and we're making an impact and we're happy and I'm not struggling anymore and I'm definitely not surviving. So here they are, the three things. Number one was I made a decision. <laughs> I was looking at my life and I'm like, this sucks and I'm sick and tired of just surviving. And I realized I was just surviving and so I made a decision to stop surviving and start winning. I made a decision I was gonna go after my dream and that I was not gonna let anything stop me. I was never gonna let fear stop me again. There were just some things that happened in my life that I'm like, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the corner and if I don't do it now, when am I gonna do it? And so I made a decision to stop surviving and start growing and start winning. And so I'm like, I've got to grow. I've got to stretch myself. I've got to learn some stuff because obviously what I'm doing isn't working uh, in terms of getting my dreams. So I got to make some major changes in my life. And so I'm like, I made that decision. I committed that I'm going to do whatever it takes to win in my life. And that squeaking you're hearing is my, it's the, the wheel. It's on auto, we're on, I'm on autopilot and it just kind of squeaks when the wind is the way the waves are moving us. Um, number two, I made the decision and the commitment to invest in myself, to stop paying bills, well, not to, not to stop paying bills, but to stop just paying bills and start investing time and money into my own personal growth. And this was something that Jim Rohn always talked about is that 
if you want to grow, you, the, num the, the greatest asset that most of us have in our life and our business is us. And if you're a real estate agent, you're, you are your number one asset. And if you want to grow your business, you should invest in your most valuable asset, which is you. And so I made a commitment to invest in personal development, but mostly I committed to invest in learning how to do what I wanted to master. And so I started attending, I started attending live trainings. I went to an event called Millionaire Mind Intensive with T.R. Becker that really turned the game for me. I attended Unleash the Power Within. I started attending real estate training again. I did all kinds of real estate training, um, even though coaching was what I wanted to do, but I just knew that I had to get in my head into a growth mode and I started investing money that I really didn't have um, because I knew I got to do had to had, had to do that and then I and then in January I hired a coach and I joined a mastermind that was a coaching mastermind that was fifteen thousand dollars a year that I did not have and I just was like I'm gonna make this work and so I was committed and I figured out a way and I was just reading an article uh, this last week of Warren Buffett and he was taught they were talking about the billionaires the what is their number one if they were to give you one piece of advice to succeed what would it be and Warren Buffett's was invest in yourself which I thought was very interesting he didn't say you know invest in Berkshire Hathaway he said invest in yourself in your own development and growth and learning and that has been, I look back, all the times in my life where things changed dramatically when I started real estate. Started real estate, I was doing pretty good, but it changed when I invested in myself and went to an event where my eyes were open to a whole new way of doing real estate and I got committed, I got convicted, I got passionate, I got a level of belief that I didn't have before and it just changed everything. And um, you know, that's the reason I do live events now. They're the, they're not, they're, they're the hardest thing that I do. They're, the, they're just the, the uh, but I do them because I know how it changes agents' lives when they come to that. So if you wanna grow, number one, you gotta commit. You gotta make a decision. Number two is decide and commit to invest in yourself, into training, into coaching, into coming to, to training events. Come to Agent Mastery Live. Um, I'll put the link in here if you want to, uh, for you to check that out, Agent Mastery Live in March. Um, it's three days. I set these three days up to do what I would want have to, wanted to have done for me 10 years ago or 20 years ago when I started real estate. And uh, that's what it's for. And then the third thing, the third thing that uh, changed everything for me and Julie and I, my wife and I, we made this decision was we were gonna change the people we hung around. We were gonna change our association. Because we looked at our friends and we, you know, we heard uh, that in five years you will be the average of the five in two in two years or whatever you'll be the average of the five closest people that you that, that you associate with and we look at our closest the people we spent most time with and we're like we don't want their future that's not the future we want and so we set the intention that we were going to find better friends and we were gonna build some relationships with people that had the kind of lifestyle and the kind of success we wanted and so we set that intention and today we have developed some absolutely amazing friendships with people that we didn't even know at that time but because we set the intention it changed our association and when you hang out with different people a different set of people people that have what you want um, that have abundance that think at a level that you're not used to it, it changes everything for you and it changed everything for us. So that's it. I was just, if you want to crush it in 2020, here are the things, and the wind's shifting on my boat here, so I'm going to have to hop off here in a second. But here are the things. Number one, make a commitment. To commit that you're going to stop surviving and start winning. And you're going to do whatever you got to do to learn, to change, to grow. Number two, invest in yourself. Get serious about training. Get serious about coaching. Get serious about learning and finding the mentors and people in your life that can do that. And number three is change your association and determine to make 2020 the best year of your life so far. And every year after that can get better. And it's amazing. It doesn't happen like that overnight. But when you change the trajectory in the course of your life, three years from now, I tell my coaching members this, if you do what I train you and you actually implement all this, three years from now, you will not recognize your life. And as I look back over the last three years, the last five years, the last seven years, the last 10 years, my life is unrecognizable compared to where I was at the time. And I only say that to say I was at the bottom and now I am loving my life and you can do the same thing. So happy new year, happy holidays. 
Have an amazing weekend.